Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Before I begin, I want to thank everyone so much for all the well wishes that you sent me last week because I did take the week off. I had to, I was so exhausted, I was burnt out, I had a bit of a cold, I was a bit run down. I'm also a human design projector, I'm a 4 6 projector. Those of you who know what that means, will know that every now and then I will suffer from burnout and I do get burnt out every now and then and it's hard being a projector because you know a projector often has a lot of ideas a lot of things that they want to do and sometimes we'll think we have infinite energy and then we work too much and then we discover we really do not have infinite energy and we have to stop and we have to rest and recharge and recover and all that but I'm, I'm back to it and today we're going to take a look at the topic of self-trust. I love this topic because I think it's really important that we all keep working to up our self-trust. Because if we trust ourselves on the other side of self-trust is so well so many good things are on the other side of self-trust. So you know our joy, our gifts, fun, all the good stuff. All the good stuff is when you really trust yourself, you can go after the things that you want. And you know that at the slightest sign of it not working out, you can adjust. Or if you have to, you can even leave, right? So when you trust yourself, you trust yourself to go in a new direction or to pursue something you love. So you trust yourself to go for it. And equally, if you discover that it's not the right thing, you trust yourself to get yourself out of there, right? So self-trust is such a wonderful thing and I thought we could explore that topic together today. So as always guys, choose from between group one, group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there group number one. If you chose group number one then you are in the right place. Why don't we start with some oracle cards and just see what comes at the beginning. We'll go slowly, we'll take our time. Okay, what have we got here? I hope you're having a good week wherever you are. And I hope you're interested in this topic of self-trust because it's so important. And one of the things I do for my clients actually is one of the things I love to do is to look up and see, all right, do you have a good intuition? You know, and we can see that in a chart. That's a really good thing to look at because I always believe, and I know this to be so true, that everybody has access to their own answers. And it is fun to work with somebody. It is fun to, you know, do things like this, what we're doing. But you have got, would you believe, the best access to your own answers. And you can always go direct. Work direct with the all is one and figure out anything you want because you are connected to all that is. So that means you know everything as well, which is sometimes hard to believe. <laughs> and I, I never believe that I know everything. I always believe there's so much I need to learn, which is true. There is so much I need to learn, but Intuition is amazing that way because then you don't need to learn knowledge and store it. You can just kind of access it as you need to. And yeah, intuition, self-trust, all these things, these are good things. So how intuitive are you? Let's take a look. So we have got, okay, echinacea, immune support. Yeah, this looks like what I needed last week. Let's take a look at the guide for this, for Echinacea. What's it saying? It says, nope, immune support. Do I need to look up immune support or Echinacea? Oh, there it is. Okay, it is important right now to strengthen your core. You have been burning the candle at both ends. This was me last week. Return to basics like vegetables, rest, exercise, and meditation to restore a sense of wellness. All right, so straight away we've got someone in group one 
There might be a few of you. You've been working hard, haven't you? And you probably need some rest. Okay, happy family. Wonderful. Gosh, that's beautiful. It's a gorgeous rainbow. We've got the sun. You know, we've got the clouds diminishing here. We've got this wonderful family scene. That's so lovely. Okay. Page of Swords. Beautiful. You know, I mean, we could have some students here. We could have some students. Some of you might be studying really hard or working really, really hard. This can be a great card for education, study, all that kind of thing. But it does seem to me that you have been working hard. But in terms of intuition, let's have a look here. Do you know, th this is really very interesting because when I was thinking about this topic, one of the things I thought of was I watched this video by this guy called How to Dad on YouTube. It's a really great channel. He always makes me laugh. I just like it. I just, it's just fun to watch. He's a Kiwi. You know, I like watching it. Anyway, <laughs> there was this one scene where he's playing basketball with his daughter and the basketball lands on her head. And I was watching the video absolutely freaked out. I was like, oh my God, the poor thing, like her spine, like, is she okay? Like, anyway, she looks at dad. And you know when kids do that, kids do that, when, when they fall over or when something doesn't go right, and especially when they fall over and they've just hurt themselves, there's this gap, there's this time where they kind of look at the parent to see, okay, what do I do? Do I, do I cry? Do I laugh? I don't know. <laughs> and this little girl, she looks at her dad and he just cracks up laughing. And then she just cracks up laughing and they keep playing basketball. And that is a thing of intuition, isn't it? Because when we were small, we actually didn't know how to react to a lot of things. And I've had little kids do this with me. You know, when I've been with friends of mine and I've been with their kids, their kid will fall over and then they'll look at me. So should I be worried about this? And I'll just smile or, you know, scoop them up or like, but I, I just don't show them that, oh my God, I'm worried. Like, see, if if I was there when that little girl had the basketball land in her head and she looked at my face, I would have been freaked out because I'd be like, oh no, that could cause damage. And the thing is that like, actually what might cause more of a problem, I don't know, is, um, is, is me being worried, you know what I mean? Like, or the parent being worried. But the, the, the other side is true too, that if, if you just keep laughing it off, let's say your reaction is always just to laugh it off, well then you're, spiritual, you're doing spiritual bypassing, you're spiritually bypassing real pain and real feelings too. You know, it's such a, oh, I think being a parent, it must be so hard. I admire all pe people who are parents. I think it's the, the most important job on earth and I think it's the most difficult one to do. I think it's just so difficult. So any parents here in the audience, I think this is a bit of a message that you're doing amazing and that you need rest. Any students, of course, watching, you've probably been working hard, you've been studying hard, maybe you need some rest. But when we're looking at this topic of self-trust, the idea is very much that you don't look at anyone else for their opinion or their reaction. You work just within you. And rather than, you know, when we were small, that's what we did. And I'm sure I did that. I'm sure I fell over and I'd look at my nearest adult to see, you know, okay, how do I respond to this? You know, but the idea is that as we mature and grow, we're not really looking to anybody. We're just looking to ourselves, you know. I think that's really important. Well, interesting that that came up, that whole childhood thing, because I've got the Page of Swords here as well. We've got, look, he's, kind of, he's really young, isn't he? his kid right and Paige is always a little well a boy really and um yeah this is that thing of maybe maybe there's a, a thing of you know that you're intuitively maturing uh, a lot and that possibly you've been you're, you're doing that quite a bit and maybe you know maybe you just need a bit of time out there's some time out message here for sure okay i know what that's about I'm a projector, I burn out. <laughs> I need time out every now and then. 
let's have a look. Let's see what we've got going in tarot. Okay. Wow, nice. The Ace of Cups, beautiful. This is emotional fulfillment. This is love. This is the beginning, the beginning of something new, possibly in your heart, possibly in your love life. Kind of feels like there are a few things going on. Maybe this is something you dream of as well. But there's this confirmation coming that, you know, this is very much in your future. We've got the Knight of Coins, the Knight of Pentacles here. So you are moving towards your goals steadily, which is great. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Oh, hello, Three of Wands wants to be here, right? Well, we'll take it. I will take whatever's underneath as well, shall we? Gosh, you're getting quite a few. I wasn't going to do this many. I was only going to do three. Let's do it. So we've got the Three of Wands here, which is, I usually see this as a card of planning, actually. And, 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 and you're looking ahead and look at that. You're going up in the world. I mean, this is, a, this is a very interesting depiction. I've never seen this one before. That's beautiful. And all this dark blue here, maybe Saturn is helping you rise, you know? Maybe Saturn is here as well. Nine of Wands, okay, and Justice, right. So, all right, well, let's, let's take these. I'm gonna put these here. So in regards to self-trust, I mean, we've got, I feel like we're getting some confirmation here that you're doing great on that front. You are trusting yourself. You're definitely trusting yourself. But what's been, there have been some challenges here too. Your life is not without challenge and I suspect that your this has to do with your hard work at the moment. I think you've been working incredibly hard. We've got the nine of wands here. Nine of wands, there are lots of meanings here but the one I'm going to go for is that you're on the final stretch of something. You're, there's a cycle that you're yet to close out but you, it feels like you're on the brink of it. It's so fascinating because on the one hand, perhaps intellectually, maybe you're at the start of some kind of journey. And here you're at the end of some aspect of your journey or you're about to close out a cycle. And you know what? It could just be to do with fear that you're not... I definitely think you're far more interested in love than you're interested in fear, isn't it? Like... Look at that happy family. There's so much beauty here. Why don't we just kind of park that there? <laughs> we don't need that off camera. Yeah, good. <laughs> because I feel like that you're closing something out. There's something that, I don't know. And justice. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Great, great image there. All right, well, let's take a couple of bits from the jar. Oh no, I wanted one of these. I'm going to put something there. Let's get one of these and then, by the way guys, I'm so behind. I'm supposed to design more decks and get this out there and I'm like so behind on everything. But anyway, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on it. Oh, this is so wonderful. Moon in the fourth house. I love this. Moon in the fourth house is nice. Good relations with family becomes an important leader or ruler, lives in new properties. Yes, you live in a beautiful new build type place, inherits wealth from mother, likes to nurture others and will have a family. Okay, so we've got family coming up twice. I mean, some of you might be planning to expand your family, to have a family, maybe a dream of, you know, having children one day. Uh, and that's on the table, guys. I mean, that can't be any more on the table than it is. You're destined, I do think, to create your own beautiful, happy family. And of course, if you you have done that, well, and maybe, okay, things, you know, yes, we've got a little bit of tension here on the table. Justice is coming up as well. You're run down. So it just feels like this is the birth of newer and happier times for your family as well okay i do see that here 
So if things haven't been so good and possibly if things feel really slow because that is quite a possibility there with the Knight of Coins. And the Knight of Coins, the Knight of Pentacles is very Saturnian. We do have a lot of dark blue on the table here. So yeah, there's some, there's some Saturn energy, you know, holding you back a little bit, but it's all looking quite good. Let's take a look and see what's coming out of the jar. Okay. Oh, you think attention is love and that is why you suffer so deeply. The mastery of self. Yeah, and I mean, this is really touching on that point of, you know, attention is love. I was thinking about this in relation to early childhood stuff and, and, like, and neglect, you know. And neglect, this is something that I hadn't studied too much, but I have been studying a little bit lately, which is that neglect is actually, yeah, it's not a good thing, is it? Gosh, and we sometimes we don't even recognize that we have been neglected in life. Um, you maybe have a parent who works too hard or you, you had a parent when, who worked too hard when you were a child or, or perhaps you're having to work far too hard and you're not spending enough time with your kids as well. That's another possibility here. But, you know, and I, this is the thing. I had, I had a father who worked really, really hard all the time. I didn't get enough time with him. Do I resent it? Do I feel badly about it? I'm trying to think about that. You know, I understand he had to work hard. If he didn't, then, you know, things would have been really hard over the long haul. So I enormously appreciate that he did what he had to do. But yeah, that, this is a thing. Let's have a look. Let's keep, let's keep going here. You can love your parents and acknowledge they didn't give you what you need. Wow, that's pretty incredible. All right, these two come out at the same time. Yeah, just as I was talking about the fact that, you know, I, and I did recognize that, yeah, I, you know, my dad worked all the time and, uh, and, and didn't, I, didn't get, I didn't get what I needed kind of thing, yeah. Both are not mutually exclusive. It's true, it's true. Doesn't, it doesn't, and it doesn't mean I, I, I don't love him as much or I, I, I love him any less. Or No, no, I love him a huge amount. But he was just so busy working. Yeah. You can love your parents and acknowledge they didn't give you what you needed. And this is a thing of you. This will help your self-trust, actually. This will help build your self-trust, build your intuition. Because you're acknowledging truth. You're acknowledging reality. You're acknowledging what's real. And that's so important. Because that's all part of good intuition, truth, you know, truth, love, these all go together, truth, love, light, reality, what is, you know, no one's lying to themselves, no one's lying to anyone else, it's all that kind of thing, let's take one more, it's about to cut out, oh, this is so annoying, oh, this is superb, I love this one. Yeah, this is great. If someone likes you, and let's just, there we go. If someone likes you, you'll know. If they don't, you'll be confused. <laughs> this is from an Instagram post, but I really, really liked it because this is so true. This is, the camera is just about to cut out. That's right, the camera is just about to cut out. All right, so if someone likes you, you'll know. If they don't, you'll be confused. I really do believe this is true. Uh, this is why, and this thing of self-trust, what do you, what do you trust? What, what don't you trust? And especially in a situation where it's like a relationship or something like that, this ace of cups here, you know, do they like you? Do they not like you? If this is a bit of a love thing and you're confused, and I tend to think that, mm, yeah, this is kind of reminding me of, um, Ramdas saying, trust, trust in Allah, but tie your camel. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's on the feeling plane. You can, you can really think, wow, well, I think this person might like me, but then, to, like, I, I always think that in, on the, in the reality plane, it's like, it's really good to have, to have, like people will let you know. You know, I just think people will let you know. 
Yeah. I like this statement. This helps me a lot. And I, I don't particularly like to be confused. Yeah. I like things to be just clear cut, you know. Um, you shouldn't have to guess too much. It's quite an emotional spread for you, group number one. And there's a lot of family type stuff. There's a lot of um, inner work here. I think this echinacea immune support, I think you have, you're, you're possibly working through your heart. It feels like it's going amazing. It feels like you're on your way up and out of difficult times, right? We've got the nine of wands there. You're on your way up and out and justice. You know, things are going to be amazing for you. I really do feel that. Really great vibes here, group number one. I'm wishing you well. Take care. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Now, before we draw one of these, I'm going to take one of these beautiful flower cards. I hope you're well wherever you are, group number two. Oh, well, we will definitely take this beautiful card. Look at the colors. How stunning. I love it. Wow, this is so Gorgeous freedom, wildflower. Yes, I love it. Look at that. <gasps> Great start, group number two. Let's see what else we got going on in here. So now the topic is all about self trust. Do you trust yourself? Well, I would say, do you know, I would say you do. And in fact, I'm going to trust myself. We're going to read all about this wildflower right now. Freedom, wildflower. It says freedom, travel, exploration, becoming loosed, loosed, loosened. Well, yes, whichever, loosed from restraints. Let loose from restraints. This is beautiful. Group number two. That sounds amazing to me. So perhaps you're freeing your intuition. Maybe you're an artist. Maybe you're allowing yourself to be more expressive than ever. Ooh, judgment. Okay, here we go. Taking it. And we're seeing judgment next. So that's kind of interesting too. So interesting, maybe. Mm, oh, I'm glad this came out exactly after that one because that is showing me that I think you're not going to care <laughs> about being judged anymore you are gonna sing your song be yourself express your innermost thoughts you're just gonna go for it aren't you and i think that's wonderful you're gonna trust yourself you're gonna be you and you're not gonna care about the judgment or the opinions of other people that is ideal if we got in here well and we've got a bird okay so amazing daughter value this is great. It's getting like this confirmation is coming through in so many ways. All right. So confirmation here is that if you do this, if you express your true self more, if you trust yourself to just let go of the restrictions, let go of caring what others think, it's going to bring a lot of value into you. And it could be money, but it could be recognition. It could be feedback, it could be positive feedback, it could be attracting fans, it could be just people wanting to hang out with you, you know? And that could be in all kinds of ways. And social media has made that easy, actually. It's, uh, I, you know, there are some things I really don't like about social media, but equally, there are some things that are great about it because, you know, it enables communities like this. It enables us to create our work in such a way that you know, we, we can be free, right? So this is great energy on the table, especially for those of you who are creative, you're an artist, you're doing something, you're building something. 
a lot of terrific signs that you are on the right track. Let's see what we've got in here. Nice, Prince of Cups. So this is the, it's not the page, it's the Knight. Oh, it's the Knight of Cups. Introspection, God, that is interesting. Because normally the Knight of Cups is, you know, he's, he's the guy with the cup on the horse and he's usually giving some kind of offer to a lady or something like that. But here we've got the Prince of Cups with introspection. Again, really appropriate for artists because artists need time on their own. Artists need recharge time. You know, Karl Lagerfeld used to talk about that a lot. He would say that, you know, he, yeah, he, he would crave his quiet time and his private time to just be creative, to think. But he would also say that ideas come while you work, you know, and that there is usually a balance between having the right amount of introvert introspection time and being with the world. And as part of your self-trust, I would imagine that you're getting really good at working out what you need and when, you know, when you need, because sometimes you actually need to go out. And I do, I need to go out. Sometimes I take my books to my local cafe because I've had too much time at my desk and it's like, I just need a change of scene. So I'll take my books to a cafe and yeah, it will just change the scene. I need to be somewhere else. And I feel like you know, you would intuitively know when, what you need and when, and that's also going to help you to get your, your craft going, your work going. Nine of Wands resilience. Interesting. I think we just had the Nine of Wands. So we've got a lot of people on the last stretch of something. You're on the last stretch of something. Sometimes this can be interpreted as being guarded. And maybe we can read this in that way in the traditional tarot. The guy, you know, the Nine Wands are there and he's got this face on where he's, he's a bit unsure, but he's a bit guarded. He's not sure. And these Nine Wands around him. So that guardedness could be wow maybe you, you judge yourself actually gosh I know I do I know I've judged myself a lot but then again who, who are those voices you know usually there's some kind of family voice some kind of parent or friends you know gosh yeah man I know that one <laughs> so many friends I just like a couple of weeks ago I went and had lunch with an old friend and I tell you what I don't know it just yeah he does not get what I do for a living I think he thinks I've lost the plot and it's like he doesn't realize that I love what I do so much and that I'm so happy yeah it's like he's he's never known what it is to to change your life to do the work that you love he he doesn't know what that is Oh, I just turned that upside down. So there we go. On the back, the bottom of the deck, we've got the devil. Okay, so we'll see what meaning that holds. Just park that there. And what's in here? Perseverance, seven of discs. Yeah, seven of discs. So that is, you are assessing seven of pentacles. Perseverance, you're assessing. Perhaps you're in a, a space of pause as well with your work, perhaps you're pausing, you're reflecting, you're assessing. And this is really a, a card of, do I keep doing this? Do I keep going down this road? Or, you know, is it time for me to, to change direction? But I'm gonna say on that front, I'm gonna say that this is the answer to that question. And this says no, I'm getting a sense that like, mm, this devil card is, it is Capricorn right and I do feel like this is giving me a confirmation saying you're on the right track so if you are wondering about do I keep investing in this road that I'm on you know will this bring returns for me later let's ask even though I am getting confirmation but let's ask anyway and then we'll draw a couple of quotes so now do we keep going down this road that we're on at the moment. Let's have a look. Perhaps it's your creative work, creative projects. Maybe you've just started a business. Maybe you've been doing a business for a few years. Maybe you're wondering, you know, am I, what am I doing? Do I keep going? Am I in the right place? Let's have a look here. Oh, yeah, I want that one. 
Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I love that. This is awesome. Definitely this is a big yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay, keep doing what you're doing. And trust yourself. Trust yourself. This, is, this reading is for you. This is a big trust yourself message. You're doing amazing. Really great, clear, easy energy here. This is good. And a lot of positive signs. And I think a, a, a lot of acknowledgement that you're working really hard and that you're doing well. And don't worry about the, yeah, like, no. If you, if you happen to have lunch with some old uni friend and they don't get what you do, <laughs> try, try to avoid the next catch-up. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing. All right, let's have a look here. Hang on, come on, what's in here? May we stop seeing ourselves through the eyes of people who never saw us. Yes, 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 yes. That's exactly this. Look at that judgment. May we stop seeing ourselves through the eyes of people who never saw us. They never recognized you. They didn't know who you are. They don't know who you are. They don't know what makes you tick. They don't know what makes you happy. They never really got deep. So, so why... Would you go and look through that other person's eyes? Yeah, it's like you abandon yourself in that process, actually. And that's not a good thing. Self-abandonment is a huge topic. I've done a lot of research on that. It's a great topic to study. And um, anyone who runs a lot of planets on that 1-7 axis, you know, even 4-10, right? Uh, you, you, will, you will learn a lot about self-abandonment about being there for yourself about being there for the other about empathizing about you know all those dynamics that happen between you and the other the other thing i wonder how much time have i got yes yeah, is all right i can talk about this quote a bit more another thing when i was writing out this quote i also thought about how like there's something i've thought about a lot and that is that i've never actually seen myself so like with my own eyes so see, when you look at yourself in a mirror, it's the reflection, like I'm seeing a reflection. And the other thing is that it's the past. It's not the now. And the only way, actually, this was something I did think about. That's not this quote. Maybe it was another quote. I wonder if it's going to be in here. There was another quote where I was thinking about this. And it's like the only time you ever really see yourself is in the now. is through the eyes of someone who who loves you or yeah and yeah who loves you and who you love i'm probably not making sense i know what i mean <laughs> but it's like because in the now you see in the now moment when you look at a, a, a reflection in the mirror that's like the past that's like a nanosecond old whereas when you look at someone with your eyes in the now you're seeing them in the now it's one living flame coming in contact with another living flame. You know, a mirror is reporting back old information, actually. You know, I think that's why it's so special to be with another person. That's why human beings need connection. That's why we need other people. Part of that is we do need to be seen. We need to be recognized for who we are. Yeah, and, we, and, and may we stop seeing ourselves through the eyes of people who never saw us. Exactly, that's, that's not going to be too good if you hang out with this too much. Yeah. All right, so let's keep going here. Oh, stunning. Guys, this is amazing. Don't be pushed by your problems. Be led by your dreams. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Yeah, that, this is great, this quote for this group. Wow, excellent energy here. We don't need to draw another one. This has been so good. Group number two, this energy is just sensational. You are doing so well. And keep doing what you're doing. Keep being you. Keep trusting yourself. Okay, you're some kind of artist. You're some kind of creative person. Just trust yourself. Don't worry about the opinions of others. Yes, it's hard work. Yes, it's difficult. You're on the final stretch of something. You're getting a lot of confirmation to keep going. So if you ever question about, do I keep investing? Do I keep going down this road? You're getting a massive yes. This is all leading to all kinds of abundance. And it could be financial, but it's likely to be because money in the bank is not so exciting. And what is exciting is freedom, 
Okay, you've drawn that card here. Freedom, being able to do what you want when you want to, being able to interact with who you want, you know, and when you work for yourself, and this was something I realized just the other day, which I kind of never really processed before properly, but I realized I'm doing my own thing and I can't be fired. And I thought, hang on a minute, that's amazing. Because like, when you work for someone else, there's always that possibility that they can just get rid of you. And when you create your own thing, actually, nobody can get rid of you because, you know, you're doing what you were born to do. You're doing what you came here to do. And that's so good. So keep going, group number two. I think you're doing amazingly well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. Guys, I am a bit behind with comments and emails, but I will get on top of everything by the end of this week. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you're in the right place. Before we draw from here, let's take a flower oracle from this beautiful flower oracle deck. I love this deck so much. I don't use it enough. But I love this gold foiling here and just everything about it is so wonderful. Hang on. Oops. Here we go. It's difficult to shuffle though, as you can see. I'm kind of doing okay here, but struggling a little bit. All right, let's just, I know do this. I've seen some of the other tarot readers do this. Oh, I'm not very good at that. Well, <laughs> I was watching tarot last, this was last Friday when I was in need of my day off. I was in bed oh, and I made some of that, um, what did I make, that Gaia 3 Davy video, which yeah, I could have done a better job on that. But anyway, um, I was making that, I was in bed, I had tea and I watched tons of tarot. So I needed a sort of tarot in bed day myself and I had one. <laughs> I was so exhausted from my busy week. It's been a busy week again. I mean, it's going to be a busy week again now for me, possibly forever, <laughs> which is great. I love that. I like, because when you love what you do, it's not, it's not work. You're just having fun all the time. And I really do love what I do. Okay. Let's take that one. Now we'll see, we'll go in order. We've got some order here. We've got some, you know, nothing's wildly poking out or anything. All right, what have we got? <gasps> Nobility, wow. My goodness, can you see those colors? Oh my gosh, that is incredible. Wow, I love this. Magnolia, nobility. Gosh, that's beautiful. All right, let's read what that has, to, that is amazing. Nobility, apparently noble. That was my grandfather's favorite word. Isn't that amazing? Uh, so what do I, magnolia, okay. Mary, no, magnolia, there we go. Nobility, perfect gentleness, beauty and grace. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, uh, let's see what's in here. Ooh, first chakra. Archangel Michael, look at that power. And he's often depicted with a lot of blue. It's quite interesting, but they've gone for the red for the first chakra, which is all about security, foundation. Maybe there's some self-trust required around some first chakra matters. Maybe some things are changing in your world to do with your sense of security, where you live. Something along these, like your tribe, your family, who is family. Maybe some things are changing in that regard. The chariot movement, yeah, this is so interesting. Wow, because I'm relating to some of this. And I, I, I give you an example of, for me, how yeah, I've got some of this going on. So I'm just not feeling connected with this town anymore. You know, I, I need to move. I need to go back to my place in England. I'm really feeling that so strongly. The chariot movement. And it's really interesting how this one's depicted. It's a, it's a snail. So you're not going anywhere in a hurry, but you are, you know, you're preparing to move, possibly. Yeah, and you gotta trust that. You gotta trust that the direction is, there's some, 
slight direction shift for you. I relate to this one, isn't that interesting? Yeah, let's take a look. And see, because it's being hinted at now, because this is Saturn in uh, Aquarius, and we're going to have this till mid-July. So you're getting a little preview of what's coming for the next, like it's in the next 2.5 years, if you're watching this video now, which is most likely. Uh, next 2.5 years, starting Jan, Feb of next year. You know, you, you, it's, it's going to be, it's, so you might be getting a little preview now of some form of movement and this is to do with first chakra matters it's to do with your tribe it's to do with where you live it's to do with it is definitely tribe and, and family but it's your physic physical reality you see caroline mace when she talks about the chakra system so the first is like many people that's your whole family then the second is one-on-one. -on -one. So usually you and a lover, or and it's orange and it's creativity, right? And the third is, that's the number one. That's you, that's your self-esteem, that's your power. Okay, so we've got many people, we've got second chakra, we've got your intimate relationship, right? With one other person. And then the third chakra is you, okay? And that's yellow and, and that, from one to three that's the material plane so we're concerned with your the your material life where you physically are um you know and it's funny because i was walking around sydney this was just like last week or whatever when i went to meet those friends and i just felt zero connection with the city like my feet were touching the ground not particularly feeling too happy to be here it's just like I just felt no connection no you know it's like I'm just physically here kind of thing yeah interesting and then you might have some situation in your life where you're physically there but you're like the, the, you, the, your aura or something is maybe spending time elsewhere as well this could be a thing like that where you're phys physically and but the, cha the change will happen, but it's not happening overnight. It's going to happen in a few weeks, in a few months, most likely maybe, you know, when Saturn moves into, because it's Saturn snail, right? It's going to, Saturn moves into Aquarius. That's when physically you will actually make the changes. Let's have a look what's going on in here. Nice reading so far, the group number three, and it feels like you just have to trust yourself. You just have to trust that everything's happening as it should and, you know, and that, it, and that it's a slower pace as well. And that, that can be frustrating. I know I used to be so impatient when I was younger, but I'm becoming more patient as I grow. Uh, let's have a look, seven of wands. Yeah. I think you need to uh retreat and recharge actually let's see what the other cards are first five of pentacles page of cups wow so we've got i'm going to read this is i'm not seeing sometimes this can be um mm. I'm going to read this one as left out in the cold. You're left out in the cold. There's something where you're feeling like you're left out in the cold. You're on the outside. You're not, maybe you're not being invited in or something along those lines. And that's okay. That is okay. That we all have that. I'm just trying to see if this is related to this nobility it's really interesting with this card that i mentioned my grandfather and there's some there's some ancient thing here with nobility something to do with ancestors this this is so interesting so there is something to do with ancestors there is something to do with family there is something to do with this first chakra plane and there is something about you at the very beginning of starting to make a change 
and you're planning, you're starting to make a change, you're going to pursue your passions, your love, what awaits you is love. What awaits you is a new beginning in love or you doing more of your passion or you're doing more of your work, enjoying yourself more. You are on your way to that. But it's like it feels like to get there, there is a bit of um, healing to do. A little bit of work. Let's, let's just take another card and see what comes. Oh, actually, we're going to take one of these. Did I not take one of these for the last group? I, maybe I didn't. Gotten now? Hang on. Did I? Don't know. I'll find out when I edit. <laughs> Let's take one of these. Oh wow! <laughs> Fantastic. Let's sun in the seventh. This is great. Few friends. Difficult to get close to. Marriage delayed. Loves foreign travel and foreign things. Spouse may be noble or questionable. Now I put that all questionable there because it depends. You put Rahu in here and you're going to have some interesting people come into your life. This is quite incredible. We've got the word noble twice. That's amazing. Yeah. This is where the sun comes to die, of course. <laughs> and, where, and where Saturn is at his best, right? So, but is this a bad placement for the sun? This is a sunset sun and I love it. I think it's really wonderful. One of the, one of the ways I like to read this sunset sun is that a lot of your, it's very possible that like your work, the like your great achievements are going to happen later in life. Okay, it's a bit of a card of the late bloomer as well. This is great. Loves foreign travel and foreign things. Yeah, there's some movement. It could be traveling. It could be physically moving where you live, something like this. But some movement is needed. But it's like a, it's like a turn of direction is needed now. It's like it's but it, you're not. Look at that. I mean, I'm just oh, that's so incredible because today, as I was on my way to a meeting, I had to go to a meeting in town anyway. And my brother was there and like there was a snail on the footpath. And I said, oh, watch out for the snail. The snail on the footpath leaving this like sticky trail. And like, yeah, it was so interesting. Because they do move very slowly. And they leave the sticky trail. Like they're not, they're not able to really go fast. <laughs> this is very slow. I'm just a little bit kind of concerned about what this is. And I, I just feel like. It might be hard going at times. It might be, my, you know, yeah, I do relate to this too. You get burnt out and you get tired. Maybe you feel left out. Maybe you're unsure. Maybe there's something you're unsure about. You don't know for sure. You don't really, you have no confirmation or no way of knowing something, something like this. And I think you're possibly quite busy at work. Maybe there is a lot going on. And this could be family as well. Maybe mm, part of what's going on is maybe a lot of people coming at you. Maybe that's also the cause, the need for this kind of change in direction. It's not like you can do anything about it very quickly, but you can go into your yogic white bubble of light. And in here, you can be just, you can be anything you want, right? And, 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 the outer is all illusion anyway. In here, inside is where you are eternally free. So just spend your time in there, you know, within. Be in your imagination. And yeah, I always love imagination and having a rich inner world, you know, because no matter what's going on, you can always be rich and happy on the inside. You know, and that, and that's, I think that's, kind of what's being reflected here because I feel like this this might also just be a metaphor for your entire physical life at the moment it's like there's something about it that's cold or that's not giving to you or you're not like like how I feel when I walk around the streets of Sydney now I just feel like uh, I'm not getting any energy like there's no I don't know like there's no like when when my feet are walking on English land I just I'm just, my feet are happy and excited you know it's kind of weird and I get that, and it was weird because I, I knew when England became my home because on each flight that I'd make here, I think maybe one or two times I got a homecoming feeling when I'd fly into Sydney. This was like around 2004, 2005. Then after that, never got that feeling when, when flying here. Always get that home feeling when I'm flying back there. 
so yeah amazing 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 what's in here all right we'll take that one uh, let's take three how are we doing for time oh a bit of hurry running out of time let's see what's in here all right so we've got a great man is hard on himself a small man is hard on others confucius yeah that's true that's so true but don't be too hard on yourself <laughs> You know, I think a great man works on himself, isn't it? A small man blames others. There we go. Look at me, I'm rewriting Confucius now. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's in here. I think that relates a bit. But as for self-trust, I think trust yourself. You're doing amazing. Keep recharging through meditation. That's where you'll get the recharge. And late bloomer card here, you know, it's going to happen for you. Look at that, the love, all the amazing stuff. It's on the horizon, but maybe, you know, the sun is a little bit high at the moment. Maybe it needs to sink a little bit before you get the, before you get the, uh, the good stuff. Oh, this is perfect. Generational trauma falls hardest on the ones who are willing to heal. So interesting because we had the word grandfather, we had nobility come up, we've got this first chakra thing going on here, family, tribe, right? The ancestors. So I think you're massively healing something. And it's generational. Generational trauma falls hardest on the ones who are willing to heal. You are. Look at that and look at that. Gosh, if we look at these you know, who's coming to get you. These are all the like ones of people who are trying to buck you off your path, right? And there might be ancestral others on that other side who are just furious. <laughs> it's like, do you think, <laughs> you know, like, because there are like not good spirits and stuff like that. And truly, sometimes they do not like what, what it is you're doing because you're going for this. You're going for love. You're going for healing. You're going for all the best stuff. And there will be some spirits who are like, who do you think you are? You know, and they're, they're, they're trying to buck you off your path. But I, you're not interested in that. Because, and look, I think, you know, you're very stable and sturdy here. You, you can't be taken off course. Uh, and, and don't worry if the world around looks a little bit or you're a bit left out or you're cold or you're, you know, your feet. Your feet aren't recharging, you know, by the exterior, the external land. Like you're not getting the, yeah, you're not recharging. Don't worry about that because you're, you're changing direction a little bit. You're, you're heading to this place where you will be. You will be recharging again and feeling great again. Feeling that love and feeling really happy. Let's have a look what's in here. What doesn't kill you makes you live in fight, flight, freeze or fawn with a rattled nervous system. Take your time adapting and healing. You don't owe further explanation. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I do agree with that. Yeah, you're healing. You're doing a lot of healing. Also, we've got a chakra card come. Okay, so there's, you're doing a lot of healing work here. And possibly... <sighs> This is amazing. You're possibly not just working for yourself. I think you're possibly helping your family enormously at this time. Okay, I think you're possibly helping your family. A lot of light coming in through you. You need some some rest. We'll take another quote since the I've started the the memory card again. So why not? We'll take the last one. But yeah, I think you're doing a lot actually. Sometimes we don't realize how much is going on. Oh, this is so sweet. I love this. Try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. Maya Angelou. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, definitely. That's really nice. Group number three, I think you're doing a lot. I think you're doing amazing. I think, and I think that you possibly just need some rest, really. And what are some good first chakra type exercises? Let me try and remember because I've been doing a lot of, I've been doing some um, Qigong and I've been doing the heart one at the moment. But there will be, if you type in Qigong or, um, I don't know, some first chakra type exercises, 
but physical exercise is really good for that uh, especially I like like qigong tapping and like I don't know like running or something yeah something where you really get the blood going I don't know well there are a lot there are lots of things if I think of anything I might put it in the description below but group number three thank you so much for tuning in let me know how you get on in the comments below I absolutely love reading your comments and I look forward to seeing you next time Thank you.